There was big news in Italy today. Luigi Di Maio resigned as leader of Five Star Movement. The Five Star Movement and the Socialist Partito Democratico, or PD, are both unraveling. Italy is steadily inching towards a new national election. On January 26th, Italy has regional elections in Calabria and Emilia-Romagna. This is going to be a very important election. I've been talking about Italian regional elections for a while now. Three years ago, the so-called center-left coalition controlled almost every region except for a few in the northernmost part of the state. Both Calabria and Emilia-Romagna are currently ruled by the left. In fact, Emilia-Romagna is arguably the single most important stronghold for the Italian left since the creation of the Italian Republic after World War II. This region has always had a left-wing government. 70 years of left-wing rule. For the past two years, we have witnessed a dramatic series of events in Italy. The regions are one by one being flipped from left to right. Last October, Umbria was dramatically flipped. The Lega-dominated center-right coalition received 57.6%. This was another former left-wing stronghold. In the 2015 election, the center-right coalition received only 38%. So this was an absolute landslide victory. Now, Umbria has a tiny population compared to Emilia-Romagna. I should note, however, that despite Umbria's small population, it is home to the greatest heavy metal band of all time. Although, Emilia-Romagna is a much bigger prize. Now, as I have said before, what Matteo Salvini has done is absolutely extraordinary. Lega has been around since 91 as a northern Italian regional party. The party only participated in about a third of the Italian regions. The founder was in a big embezzlement scandal and left the party in ruins. Salvini took over in 2013. Not only did he rebuild the party in the north, but he transformed it into a nationwide party. In the 2018 general election, Lega received 17.4% and became part of the National Ruling Coalition with Five Star Movement. Salvini became Interior Minister. Then something really extraordinary took place. Lega essentially doubled in popularity and became the biggest party in Italy in a very short amount of time while they were in power. When a party is in power, it is typical for that party to stagnate or even decline. For Salvini, it was the exact opposite. He exploded. Lega is no longer in power, and a new globalist brokered coalition of PD and Five Star exists basically for the sole purpose of preventing Lega from taking control of the government. But Lega is the top party for a third of Italians now. This is no flash in the pan. Lega has been polling at over 30% for 10 months or so in a row now. Now, Lega and their center-right allies, Giorgia Maloney's Fratelli d'Italia, or Brothers of Italy, and Silvio Berlusconi's Forza Italia, together they've been polling 49 to 50% or even over 50% in national polls for months and months. When Italy is granted a new election, they are poised to sweep into power. So, first of all, polls suggest a dramatic victory for Lega and the center-right coalition in Calabria. In 2014, the center-right coalition took only 24% in Calabria. Now, Lega, which has never run for a regional election in Calabria before, is polling over 20% by themselves. So, no matter what happens in Emilia-Romagna, Calabria already looks like a stunning victory. Now, Lega, despite being the biggest party now, does not have a modern, sophisticated political machine in these regions. The campaign is basically very primitive and old school. It is Matteo Salvini relentlessly holding public appearances at breakneck speed. He's even been sick lately, but he, he keeps going every day like a machine. Besides Salvini's public appearances, Lega has street tables in Emilia Romagna, they need police protection. If police are not standing nearby, leftists will try to attack them. Lately, it's been cold, so the cops just park a van across the street and sit in the van and watch. 
On Sunday, there was a big concert in Bologna. The left-wing city council declared that no one would get police protection for their tables that day. Well, the left-wing parties never have police protection anyway because no one bothers them. All the violence comes from the left. So, that is one example of how the leftist establishment and the Antifa types are working together to try to shut down the right. Now, the PD is getting very, very desperate. They are floating proposals about granting massive amnesties to illegal migrants. They are saying, well, only people with a work permit would be amnestied with a residency permit. Well, a work permit would be super easy to fake or you could simply purchase one. The reason for this is that anyone with a residency permit would be eligible to vote. So what they want to do is create hundreds of thousands of new left-wing voters. This is just further enraging the public and driving more people to vote for Lega. So right now, the polls show the center-right coalition within striking distance of actually flipping Emilia Romagna. The center-right coalition is backing Lucia Borgonzani as president. The center-left coalition is backing Stefano Bonaccini. Right now, the polls show Bonaccini in a slight lead as far as presidential candidates but they show the center-right coalition in the lead as far as parties. Lega is polling first place with over 30% by themselves. The center-right coalition is polling around 46%, even as high as 48%. The center-left coalition is polling 44 to 45. The reality is that if the center-right coalition got 40% in this region, it would be considered a victory. What they are polling right now is extraordinary. The Five Star Movement has dwindled from around 10% in Emilia-Romagna to as low as 5%. At this point, if the center-right coalition gets in the high 40s, the Five Star Movement might not win enough seats to save their allies. So I think that January 26th will be a victorious day for Italy no matter what. However, if Lega and their allies actually flip this state, it will reverberate across Europe. The victory will echo in the halls of the European Union. At this point, it seems inevitable that an early election will come sooner or later. The center-right coalition will sweep into power and Matteo Salvini will be prime minister. In one of my recent videos, I talked about the globalist pylon against Poland and Hungary. Well. What are they going to do when Italy and the Visegrad Four join forces into one powerful nationalist bloc? This is very significant. With the UK gone, Italy is more significant within the EU than ever before. The population of Italy is just slightly behind France. They will be the third largest population in the EU, the third largest net contributor of funds, to the European Union. Matteo will embolden nationalist leaders across Europe. Salvini will provide a model of leadership for others to emulate. Be bold, aggressive, and take decisive action. Salvini tried to force an early election. The media claimed he was defeated and shot himself in the foot. Yet we see no evidence of any defeat. It is exactly the opposite. All right, thanks for watching this video. Click the like button, post a comment below, and tell me what you think about this. And please consider making a donation to this YouTube channel. And I'd like to thank the people who are making $2 and $5 donations on Subscribestar to this channel. I had some more new people after my last video, so thank you very much. And please support my sponsor, Patriotic Flags, the online flag store, patriotic-flags.com. Tell them Renaissance Horizon sent you. And they got lots of Italian flags for sale. And they got these Italian girl baby doll t-shirts that they're liquidating that I think look pretty cool. And click the subscribe button. New video every few days.